And the Target 12 investigators continue our in-depth coverage of the bridge breakdown. Days after a new city law took effect, warnings have been issued to dozens of truck drivers that their vehicles are no longer allowed on some Providence streets. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie joins us with the numbers. Alex? Providence police tell me they issued 67 warnings during a three-day grace period before the new restrictions took effect. Most of them on Monday. Some Eastside residents have already noticed a difference. In the 121 days since the abrupt closure of the westbound side of the Washington Bridge, state and city leaders have been trying to find ways to alleviate traffic. But with more trucks using local streets in order to get around the bridge, some city leaders and residents say it's been bad on roads. No, William Combs bikes daily. Uh, potholes come out of nowhere. Last week, Mayor Brett Smiley signed a new law aiming to protect local roads by banning trucks weighing more than 15 tons from driving on city bridges and on some roads around the Providence side of the Henderson Bridge. Violators would be fined $200. The new law doesn't apply to vehicles like school buses, ripped buses, garbage trucks, or those making local deliveries. Target 12 captured police speaking to the driver of this Amazon truck on Wednesday, then rerouting the vehicle away from South Angel Street. I think it'll be definitely messy at first, but hopefully everyone will fall into a rhythm within the first few weeks. Julia Millen says she's moving out of her South Angel Street home due to the extra noise and traffic on the east side. It's just chaotic and I want a little bit of quiet. Combs is hopeful the road conditions will improve, but questions what impacts the restrictions will have elsewhere. It's kind of a scene because it's putting them in a position where they only have one where to go. I mean, if they tie up one thing, it's going to push it to somewhere else. I also reached out to Rhode Island Trucking Association CEO Chris Maxwell. He tells me truck drivers are continuing to adjust to the quote, many obstacles and restrictions they face. With the Target 12 investigators, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.